Hi guys and welcome back to another video session. Like I did the other day, uh, we had the Fibaro key fob. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to talk about the uh, Remotech R ZRC90. So this is the eight button uh, remote control that we have, which is about uh, the size of the palm of your hand with eight buttons. Um, same principle, just like the Fibaro key fob, I'm going to have a, a Lua code template for you guys and therefore you can start pasting in your code. Now, let's go to, now this particular device I've actually got already installed in my house. So what I'm gonna do is, um, oh, it's hidden. So let me go back to here, click on whole house, and click on devices, and then type in remote tech. Oh, it's hidden. There it is. So here's my Remotech ZRC90, which I keep in the bedroom. Now, on the parameter section, you don't need to do anything. Because it's not a Fibaro, it's, everything's kind of enabled by default. And, and also, the endpoint is actually correctly set up when you do install this device. And to do that, once you click on um, include mode or add mode, just need to press the uh, L button on the back of the remote under the battery cover. Okay, so once done, it's installed. So we just need to know the device ID, which in our case is 559. Then what we're gonna do is go on to scenes and then uh, let's, uh, I'm just gonna create it as a new scene and it's gonna be a Lua scene. So I'm just gonna write on there what it is, remote tech put it in uh, I always put it into remote category as well like so like so so it's easy to find and hit save just like before I'm going to we're gonna copy over the top section which is going to be where our conditions are so declarations conditions and I'm going to paste it here but change the ID to 559 which is the ID of my remote control. I'm then going to copy and paste the actions code, which will go on to this side. So, once done that, we're gonna hit the save button. Just like before, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open that up, change this to key fob, because that's the reference I used over here. Now, that's for the, um, the old one we did and then I'm just gonna press the buttons so one press one press twice and one press hold so on this particular remote tech we only have three options per button not like the other one where we did have doubles and triple clicks here we can only click once click twice and hold there is no triple clicking in the remote tech device as with the other one um, what we can do is we can then code it in so let's show we say we'll delete that so not delete it sorry we'll comment it out and I will say if you borrow call 78 turn on and if I then press button 2 I'm going to say turn off so just like before copy and paste and save so now we've got button one is on and button oh sorry let's move that i'm not going to put it on that one put that there and button two as off so if we go back into our rooms and click on the back room now if i press button one that turns my light on and button two turns my light off so as you can see that we can still carry on setting up our scenes just like we did with the key fob the uh, the other time and to be honest that's how straightforward it is so again what you guys can do is download the template file once downloaded make sure you copy the right sections on the either side and update the ID of your remote tech device over here 
and then just add the relevant code in the uh, in the action side um, and that's it really so this one's going to be short and sweet which it really was um, nothing else to say apart from thank you very much carry on subscribing carry on liking and as I said before uh, don't forget if you want to ask me any further questions or be more interactive please uh, join my uh, Facebook group otherwise just leave a comment below thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next video